people watch. King 5 News, number one in Western Washington. Ever wonder which cell phone carrier has the best coverage or where you can get the best reception? We get Jesse to check out a new app that claims to put that information in the palm of your hand. Well, this is our um, scout kit. What can one guy be drive from point to point in a Beamer with a bag full of cell phones do for you? We're testing call strength. Uh, we're testing upload, download speeds. See, Tom Ingerson is checking your cellular network and he's doing it one block at a time. Exactly, that's, that's exactly what we're trying to do. This is all for a company called Root Metrics. The Bellevue-based company created a free app that allows you to compare carriers all over the region. It is about the usability of this. So Bill Moore is Root Metrics CEO. And then it also allows you to immediately look at a map and see who's going to be the best carrier for you and the locations that are important to you. Remember Tom's bag of phones? He's driving around town collecting data and sending it to the company's server. App users who test their phones will also become part of that same data pool. Thanks for the ride. You are welcome, sir. That information is placed on a map. Green means good coverage. Red or black is bad, which could mean more drop calls and slower data speeds. But it's typically because there's too many people on that particular cell tower or the technology didn't hand off real well from that cell tower to the next cell tower. Bill says the best areas for all carriers in Seattle are the Space Needle and the waterfront because there's lots of open space and cell towers. The Root Metrics app is all green at both sites. And most people are taking in the sites, not talking on their phones. A few pictures being uploaded, but other than that, you're not, you're not taxing the networks right here. Among Seattle's worst, the Ravenna neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, all the carriers are a little bit weak in this area. And what's to blame? There's a lot of park over here where you're never going to get a cell tower. And then you've also got a lot of huge trees in the area that are mature. So it's probably a combination of those things. If you live near the I-5 corridor in Seattle, get ready for a data backup. Seven spots on the freeway are among the region's worst. It's just too many users in a single area. But it's typically too many people on the network. They're the product of their own success, if you will. So let's put Root Metrics to the test. It's really spotty. I mean, when I'm on the deck, I get iffy coverage. In my room, it's a little bit better. We're in Bellevue, Somerset neighborhood, where residents like Heather Hildebrandt say there's a great view, but no cell towers. I wish it was a lot better. I wish there was something that they could do about it. So I run a test, and bingo, it shows plenty of bars, but slow upload and download speed. They need to do something to be able to fix that problem. Or you can move. No. <laughs> <laughs> Root Metrics maps allow users to compare providers' performance at your home and workplace so you can make an informed choice before you get tied up into a contract. So which carrier has Root Metrics' best score? It's Verizon, followed by T-Mobile, AT&T, and then Sprint. Jesse Jones, King 5 News.